Hey everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here for another 8-4 return to Ravnica Draft. Uh, rare sucks, but we got Call to Conclave, which is a pretty awesome Selesnia card. Um, it's definitely the first pick here. Hopefully we can wheel either Eyes or Courses Accord, but that doesn't seem super likely. This is actually a pretty weak pack beyond those three cards. In fact, kind of sucks because we're going to just be passing a Selesnia signal, but um, Call the Conclave is just so much better than everything else in here that I've got to take it. Um, follow up pick. Well, Phantom General feels pretty good. Follow up. Uh, Common Bond also feels pretty good. I guess Phantom General feels a little bit better because just straight up getting a 4 4 for 2 would be sick. Um, and this is uncommon, whereas Common Bond is common. Common Bond is very good, though. I guess Common Bond. I play Common Bond more often than I play Phantom General. This has, like, more applications. This is better for a token strategy, though, so I may just want to go down that route. And it's uncommon. I don't really like Palisade Giant very often, occasionally. Golgari Longlegs is fine, too. Let's just take the General. I'm usually not hard up for four drops, but... Um, general just makes, like, random cards like Seller of Songbirds and stuff like that just way better. All right, here we can do Giant Growth. We have Selesnya Kirun. Stab Wound, Karaz the Monitor. Um, I mean, I probably just want the Key Rune. I like the Key Rune quite a bit. Giant Growth is good, though. It's an awesome trick. It's good removal in colors that typically don't get good removal. But you f usually have Mana Sinks for Key Rune, so I think I want the Key Rune. Um, Savage Surge versus Beetle. Savage Surge is pretty good. It's an uncommon. It's a cool trick. I like Beetle quite a bit, though. It's a good bear. I usually like to load up on bears. Savage Surge is actually, like, less impressive over time. But it is still pretty good, and it's a trick. I guess we go for the uncommon. I mean, I would like that Beetle, but... Can't always get it. Alright, here we're, we're taking the Apparition uh, over the Rhino, just because I'd rather have the two-drop creature. And here we'll take the Militant, which is better than the Apparition, I think. And lets me beat down a little bit more efficiently. Alright, pretty easy. Centaur's Herald, staying on track here. Uh, well, I think we're in the right color. We'll take another Apparition here over the Charm. Uh, this is an original pack. All these cards suck, so I guess I'll take Gil Feud, just take the rare. Um, long Legs versus Slitherhead. Slitherhead's fine. I think Long Legs is better, though. Fire Elemental is pretty good. Although I may just want to load up on cheap creatures. I think Long Legs is better, so I guess I'll take that. Um, Pursuit is what I'd like to go up least against, even though I have the double apparition. I just Pursuit can just take games over if played quickly enough. I mean, maybe you can splash for Terra Swarm if you have, like, Axe Banes or something. Or, I mean, I have a Key Rune. So far, we look like we're more Selesnia beatdown, randomly produce some tokens, but Sundering Growth this late is pretty sweet. I like that card quite a bit. It's certainly good with uh, Call the Conclave and Centaur's Herald. The second to last pick, Avenging Arrow, is pretty good, too. I guess it's not very good in when you're trying to beat down, but still playable. Let's just hide the Terra Swarm for now. I mean, if I could stick to Selesnya only, I'd prefer to do that, but uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Alright. So, pack two. Pretty unexciting all around. Uh, we're going to take the Knightly Valor, which is actually good in this deck, so that's actually a reasonable first pick. 
Knightly Valor I've just grown to love. Uh, Alright, Knightly Valor's good on the Fencing Ace, but Courses Accord might be more the direction we want to go, for the Phantom General at least. We don't have a ton of pump for the Fencing Ace, we've only got the Savage Surge and the Knightly Valor, which is good, but not quite enough for me. So I think I'd rather have the Courses Accord over the Vine too. Courses Accord's pretty sweet uh, late game. Alright, here, we could take another course of cord, but now it looks like a good time to pick up a giant growth. I'd rather get some nice tricks. We've got early creatures now, so giant growth just becomes significantly better as you get cheaper creatures. Ooh, wow, this is actually a choice. Um, Grove of the Guardian is sweet. It's an awesome finisher. We don't have any populate, is that right? Yeah, we don't have any populate. But still, I mean, getting an 8-8 Vigilance is strong. I really do want the Healer and the Griffin, too, though. So there's actually just good picks all around for us. I think I go with the Grove, because the upside is good enough, but Centaur Healer is really good for beating down. And just... Ugh. I think I actually need to take the healer here. It's a little more... The, the Grove is awesome, but it's just a little more difficult to, to make work, especially with all the bounce effects in this format. Plus, you you know, it's it's harder to get online, so I, I think this is the right choice. Um, I'd prefer to not have the Sentry. I, I probably just want a Predation for sideboard, but... I may need this Sentry, unfortunately. I don't like the Sentry, but I, I really think I might need it. So I gotta take it over the Predation here. If I don't end up with enough playables. Ooh, Temple here is awesome though. For the Call of the Conclave and the Herald and the Knightly Valor and the Courses Accord. Yeah, Temple's sweet. It's just like a Crusader of Odric. There's also a Judgment in there too, which I wouldn't have minded getting, but this is fine. Alright, I think I can take a Sanctuary. It's a good finisher. I feel comfortable playing that. Sundering Growth would be nice too. But Sanctuary is pretty cool. Um, could take the defenses. How many token producers do we have? Do we only have those original two? I guess in three. F we have four token producers. That might be enough for Rootborn defenses. Not a ton else, actually. Otherwise, just a Vassal Soul, which isn't that great in this deck anyway. Alright, we'll take a defenses. Uh, this is our original pack. I guess we take an Indrik. And I'll take another sentry. Don't really like it all that much, but whatever. I'll take a foil. Guess we'll take another defenses. Not likely we're playing two of them. Chorus is pretty sweet, though. Alright, so what does this deck need? Um, I think this deck could use... I wouldn't mind at least a couple more bears. And another giant growth would be nice, too. Might get us a little more consistency. So this is 22 playables. And I'm probably only running one Rootborn defenses. Prefer to not even run the Selesnius entries at all. Right now they're just in there to make sure that I have enough playables. Um, Alright, I wouldn't mind taking the Cellar, which is pretty good with the Temple. Actually, really good with the Temple, but... And Swift Justice would be good, too, but we're just going to take tickets. Taking three tickets. I'm a greedy, greedy man. Uh, ooh, Common Bond versus Brush Strider. I like the Common Bond quite a bit, but uh, I think we want more creatures to fuel our Wayfaring Temple and justify our tricks better. Like, we've got the Chorus, too. So I actually like Brush Strider quite a bit. It's very strong with tricks. Common Bond would have been nice, though. Um, here, I think it would just take the Griffin. Ultimate Price in here is pretty sweet, and Swift Justice would be good, too, but Griffin's actually just all-around awesome, and that can replace one of our sentries. We could just hide the sentries for now. Um, I don't have a ton of mana sinks, so I'm not sure how good Axe Bane is in here. Yeah, I actually don't have much uh, mana sinks at all, so I don't actually like Axe Bane in here. But then again, there's just really not much else. I could take a Pegasus, but I don't like that. 
I guess I could take the Soul Tithe. It's not really that great in this deck, but it is actual, it's a decent piece of removal. I'm not going to play the Axe Bane, so there actually is a chance I play the Soul Tithe. Uh, Alright, so now it's Arrestor versus Common Bond. I like Arrestor a lot, but I may just want this Common Bond. It's so strong with Brush Strider, and I do like the Arrestor a lot, though. We are a little bit short on creatures. That's kind of the problem. Maybe I have enough buff spells. I already have a Growth, a Savage Surge, a Course of Might, and a Knightly Valor. So I guess I need, I need more early game. I, I need to make sure I have consistent 2-3 drop creatures. Alright, here I'll take an Eyes in the Skies for the Phantom General and for random uh, populating. It's awesome with Wayfaring Temple, too. Alright, uh, Centaur's Herald versus Common Bond now. God, all the Common Bonds, but they're always in a pack with other cards that went. Uh, I think we take another Herald, honestly. I want to make sure I've got tons of creatures. I feel like that's pretty important. Guess I don't care about any of these. I think I take the Sundering Growth for Sideboard. I feel like I already got one, but even if I did, it's okay. Alright, we'll take a Rhino here. I could probably play it too. Alright, sweet. We got the Common Bond. I'm going to take it over the Guild Gate. Uh, now I'll take the Gate over the Monitor. Yeah. Let's take the gate. I like to get some mana fixing. Um, I guess this could be good. Alright, so we ended up with a pretty good deck, I think. We've got enough playables to make this work. We've got a fairly, fairly uh, good army. Pretty efficiently costed dudes. Alright, let's do some Heralds, Giant Growths, let's not do the Indric for now, I'd prefer, I, I like Indric more when I'm trying to be defensive rather than offensive, I may not even play the Sanctuary, the Risen Sanctuary main deck, uh, maybe I can get away with alright, so this is 24. Let me make sure I'm not missing cards that I definitely want. Soul Tie, they don't need. Main deck, I don't need Avenging Arrow main deck. I already have one of these. Prefer to not play the Sentries. Um, Sundering Groat's fine out of side. Indrik's fine out of side. Okay. I think I feel... Do I need 17 lands? I don't think I do. I actually have zero mana sinks in here. I can do 16 lands for this comfortably. It's two color. Um, yeah, let's do, let's do 16 lands. Still run the Sanctuary? I like it. I mean, it's a finisher. Yeah, I guess I'm comfortable with this. I mean, <laughs> Risen Sanctuary with Chorus of Might's pretty quick game. Plus we have the Key Rune. Yeah, I guess we, we can do 16 lanes in here. I don't want to get clumped up. Alright. I mean, how much late game do we have? We really don't have that much. 3 5 drops, 6 drop, and a 7 drop. Pretty good amount of one, two, threes. I mean, I, it could go either way. This might be a deck better served playing 17 lands, but since I actually have zero mana sinks, I, I think 16 is right. And I probably just want to do an even split. Let's see if they do eight and eight. Oh yeah, that's that's right. Okay, well, um, I've got slightly more white than green. Actually, I think I should look at that. 
I guess I actually have double white. Well, this is a double green too, though. But it looks like I need double white before I need. Well, we have more white anyway. All right, we'll we'll go. We'll go eight seven. All right, well. Um. Yeah, let's run it like this. I like it. I'll see you around one.